Remember that drink place? I'm coming, I'm coming. All right. Thank you, sir. It's very late at night, and we're going to give you guys a uh, reaction video to the... Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's how late it is, Chris. I need I caffeine. I need a drink. <sighs> so we're going to do a, a reaction video to the new Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice trailer that just came out. So without further ado, let's uh, start it up. I'm scared. <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm tingly with anticipation. Here we go. Let's get this thing. Uh, and play. <clears throat> Hopefully this doesn't suck. I'm hoping so. Who's that? You must be new. That is Bruce Wayne. Mr. Wayne! Clark Kent, David Planet. What's your position on the bat for Joanna and Gotham? Civil liberties are being trampled on in your city. Did Batman have a gun at the end? Was he holding a gun? <laughs> Batman doesn't use a gun. No guns, no killing. Um, so, um, I liked some of the things that happened in there. I really like Batman. I have thoughts, actually. Yeah, I, I'm... I have thoughts. Listen, guys... To process this, yeah, it hurts. I'm um my my first initial reaction is sadness, and I, I know you could say let's fanboy out and scream because yeah. it's a big action movie, but right. the last half of that trailer really it just looked like random stuff tied together with overuse of CG. There are aspects yeah. of it I like. Yeah. The, the stuff I like is Ben Affleck as Batman, which Phenomenal. from the very beginning, yeah. but when they announced it, I was like. He's going to be good. Everyone's like, no! I was like, nope, it's going to be good. Yeah. He looks amazing. I like the voice. Finally actually heard his voice, not some mechanic, mechanical voice. Sounds yes. great. Henry Cavill is fine as Clark Kent. He'll be fine as Superman. Superman's not really a very interesting character. No, I've, I've never... Um, yeah, he fits the role. He's fine. He, he'll be fine. It, it's service. Wonder Woman service looks great. Man. Sexy, yes. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg is playing Jesse Eisenberg, and I think that was the biggest fear for everybody yeah. because I was hoping that he would do something different. But just his little smart alecky, yeah, 
that's a three. Oh, don't pick a fight with that guy. It's that's like, a, yeah. It's, all right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm not buying. I'm not it's buying. A, I'm not I, buying Eisenberg. I don't think. No, I'll tell you what. I'm not buying. I'm not buying blowing your entire load in the movie trailer for no reason whatsoever. Listen, guys, this yeah. movie's called Batman v Superman. Right. We were going to go see this movie. Now we know the last 15 minutes of the movie by the trailer. I think we actually know the entire movie. And that's yeah. my biggest problem. I was watching it, and towards the last, like, 30 seconds, I got, like, this look like, oh, my God, they're really letting me know everything. And there's yeah. still four months left before this movie comes out. Yeah. And we basically know <laughs> Act 1 is they meet, they argue, Jesse Eisenberg mm-hmm. is involved. Act 2 is their war with one another the big and then fight, eventually yeah. they team up and wonder woman shows up to fight doomsday and which we the day. didn't even know was in the movie and didn't need to know was no, in the movie why would you do that listen here's the thing about doomsday Shit. all right keep in mind we have a justice league movie coming out right <sighs> and what do you need when you have this entire team of superheroes you need another muscle-bound big badass villain for them to team up against so why blow the load with doomsday yeah in this movie just to toss them in their last 15 minutes that's probably what's gonna it's gonna be like Okay, I yeah. get a Spider-Man 3 vibe in one particular reason. Yeah. Venom. Venom was in the last bit of Spider-Man uh-huh. 3 for literally like 15 minutes to just be in there. Yeah. I have a feeling what you just said is going to happen. It's going to be Doomsday shows yeah. up and the three of them team up to be the Dawn of Justice. Yeah, and I, I know, listen guys, I know it sounds like we're being negative. Trust me, I would love to sit here and scream like a little girl because yeah. I love the trailer. Uh, but I just, I was... I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed too, and it just... It looked like they went out of their way to do things that they didn't need to do. Uh, and here's the other thing. The the Batman versus Superman fight will, yeah. looks like it's going to be the best 10 minutes of the movie. Probably. Because every visual from this trailer in that, where he's wearing the bat armor suit, mm-hmm. I can't wait to see that. I was actually a little yeah. more intrigued with the exclusive sneak, the 50-second clip they released the other day. I agree. That did Superman more. Superman ripping the mask off. The, I have a feeling there'll be a lot of. I just there'll be there'll be really good scenes, yeah. and I'm still really excited for the movie. And I think that overall it would probably be better than Man of Steel. But uh-huh. my problem is, that I am having is it just it just looks so artificial. It looked really artificial it, towards the end. It there. Re, there were scenes in this where it just looked like they weren't quite polished and finished. And uh, I know that's a popular thing to say when you judge CG in a movie trailer. Well, it's not finished. Right. Do you truly think the producers behind this are going to put out a 50% finished CG action sequence in a trailer to sell the movie? There's only four months left, and yeah, obviously there'll be... Yeah. But usually, uh, visual effects... I think it goes... Visual effects are cut, and then they do the score and the sound mm-hmm. mixing and stuff. I think so. I, they're, they must be close yeah. to completion in regards to the visual effects, I would assume. What do you think about Doomsday? Here's what I thought, just real quick. Okay. He looked like um, an anorexic abomination from the Incredible Hulk movie. Okay, can I be honest with you? Yeah. Okay, for one split <laughs> second, I swear to God, for I, I swear to you, yeah. for one split second when he jumped out, I went, is that the Abomination? Yeah, dude. It was, I swear, for one split second. It was like the gray version of the Abomination. Yeah. He just jumped out with a weird smirk on his right. face. Now, look, I, I, yeah. I have the Death of Superman uh, comic mm-hmm. upstairs. I love the Doomsday story. It's exciting. It's got great visuals. Yeah. They could do really amazing stuff with it, but it really, it kind of seems like it's going to be like this last... 15 second thing where he's just there mm-hmm. and Lex Luthor has created a monster. He created the devil and 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 not even that like I feel like if you have a, you know a little bit of common sense and you're tying you know two and two together that you can obviously see General Zod's DNA is taken to create mm-hmm. Doomsday because they show that like they go out of their way to show you General Zod's dead body. Yes. So it, it's like I now you know that, every little twist. I really think the main problem I have with this trailer is isn't so much the fact that it was kind of disappointing in the way it looked, but just that it showed too much. It has amazing Spider-Man much, yeah. 2 syndrome right it now. Does. Where you watch the whole trailer and you just kind of know the beats of the movie and you're like, wait a second, like this is just supposed to tease me. Like, take I a know. page out of J.J. Yeah. Abrams' book. He's not even showing Luke Skywalker oh, in man. anything. Sometimes less is more. It, it all, all the time yeah. less is more. Yeah, and, uh, but you know, maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe there are more twists and turns to it. Maybe this is just the tip of the iceberg, but... I really feel like they showed you every, like you said, they showed you, uh, you know, Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 in this yeah. trailer in that specific order. Yeah, and that's, that's the, yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah. Look, now look, for all yeah, for all I know, 
freaking Green Lantern's gonna come out of the ground in the actual movie. Who cares? I just it, it's just they got Aquaman in there somewhere yeah. too, apparently. Yeah. So, so. I'll, I don't know. Uh, I it's, I mean, at least they're not doing what Spider Man Three did, where there were so many characters, and at the end they threw in a, ve- uh, a Venom, and then there were too many villains and too many heroes. At least they're not doing that. Oh. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> but hey, on a positive note, at least one of those heroes is Batman. Batman looks perfectly executed. I have absolutely no complaints. I like that they actually gave us a dialogue-driven scene. Mm-hmm. Finally got to see some back and forth between Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent. Sure. I like that. And uh, it, it does look like they actually have some character motivations to back up why they're sure. fighting. So there's more to it. And not to stay overly negative. But yeah. I hate when trailers cut off the S word. Oh, shh. And then it cuts. Yeah. It's like, I wonder what he said. Yeah. But uh, Batman had a gun at the end of this trailer. He was holding a gun. Unless it was like a repulse ray or some bullshit. But Some grappling yeah. thing that's going to like grapple off Doomsday's face. Yeah. They... You think Batman will kill Doomsday? He can't kill Doomsday. Well, in the comics, spoiler alert. Yeah. Superman dies by killing Doomsday and Superman dies. They both die at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, that's not going to happen because it's called Dawn of Justice, and you can't have the Justice maybe, League without Superman. Maybe Superman does go down for the count, and we kind of don't know exactly what happens to and him Batman by the end of this movie. Batman has to give him mouth to mouth. That would be I. Hey, I would pay money for that. <laughs> that that's the Brazers version of Batman. Uh, but I think Batman, his role during that big chaotic uh, Doomsday scene, will be like Captain America's role. You know, control the crowd, kind of. <laughs> yeah. He'll be like, he'll tell people what to do. He, he will set the game plan, what to do in that situation. Batman becomes the Hawkeye yeah. of, the, of the Justice League. Yeah, but I mean, it does look like a fun comic book movie. I mean, it definitely had the comic book vibe. I don't I don't know about Eisenberg. Uh, Jesse, I, yeah, I didn't like Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know, I don't know. This is the first trailer where I'm just like, <laughs> oh no. Yeah. But in all honesty, yeah. look, I know you like Man of Steel more than me, okay? But most people were disappointed by Man of Steel, yeah. myself included. Fair enough. I didn't see what made me like go like Zack Snyder's gonna do it. You know, I, I'm excited about Affleck. Yeah, but I, I th- there's never been a movie where I was like, wow, that was more than just a really pretty looking movie that Zack Snyder made. Yeah, I that's mean, you can say Watchmen, I guess. But, style over substance. Yeah, yeah. You know the thing about Man of Steel. Maybe there wasn't enough action, enough you know money shots to impress people and keep them entertained. And, but I feel like if he would have just found a perfect blend between that and what this trailer is making it look like, that would have been the tone I wanted to see. Yeah. This is just like, things, 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 more things. There's Doomsday. There's the end of the movie. Okay. Didn't need to see all of it. I no, guess, man. To sum, to yeah. sum my yeah. thoughts up quickly, spoiled too much. <laughs> so now I know like basically the entire movie. Uh, sure, you know, maybe Aquaman shows up and goes... Bong with his staff or Boom. something, and yeah. and and maybe we didn't see that, but maybe Aquaman splits out of Doomsday's skin. No, and just yeah, it's probably not. That's not gonna happen. It's probably not. Gonna I think the Flash might show up at some point, but yeah. I don't know. Anyway, guys, uh, Spider Man, Spider Man, why why the hell not? <laughs> I mean, throwing another villain in there. Um, I I really do hope there's more to this. I hope that they didn't completely just showcase everything. Um, Me too. Less is more. That's the motto. I have a feeling they did. Yeah, and it's it just once again that CG just looks so CG. It just looked like a video game and looks artificial. Trust me, if you guys are watching one person on the internet who wants this movie to be good, I'm dedicating my life to this movie being good. I'm living for this movie being good. Um, Both of us have Batman themed bathrooms. We're both in our late 20s. Please, understand, we want this movie to be good. Yeah. I just hold it to a slightly higher expectation, which I... I you should. Yeah. You, you should uh, hold a movie, you know, you, a movie like yeah. this that, ha- that for the very first time ever, yeah. is, can, is having these two characters in the same movie should be it, amazing. It should be a good movie, but, you know... Hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. At least the fight sequence between Batman and Superman looks phenomenal. So anyway, guys, here's my question to you, and let us know down below... What did you think about the trailer? Is it what you expected? Did you cream in your pants? Did you blow your load? Or did or you kind of let down because the movie showcased way too much? Yeah, so let me know down below. And by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my buddy Chris Stuckman's channel. I'm here in his man cave right now. It's a fun time. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.